Miles here, milesbecker.com. This is a presentation I created for a speaking engagement in Europe, and I wanted to share it with you. Now, this presentation covers exactly what happens to your Facebook advertising campaign when you optimize it, as I've taught with the $5 Facebook ad method. Now, I'm not going to show you how to optimize. I'll make sure that a pop up for that comes up above right now. You can get the link below in the description to go see those optimization videos where I followed one new campaign for four weeks optimizing every week and showing you every step of the way and explaining why I'm doing what I'm doing. So this looks at a campaign that's been optimized in that manner and looks at the numbers that come out of such a campaign to give you an idea of what optimizing your Facebook advertising campaigns can do for your long term ongoing metrics of the campaign. This will all make sense in a second and I'm excited to share this with you. So first I want to share the campaign itself. I started with 19 ad sets at $5 each. Again, this is my $5 Facebook ad method. I used 19 ad set. 14 of those were interest based ad sets. This is me in the stealing my competitors customers mode. This is me targeting my biggest competitors, 14 competitors. Then I used four customer lookalike audiences. These are lookalikes of my customer list. And then I used my website retargeting in this. Here's the funnel that I used. It's really simple. I have an opt in page and then I have a $47 one time offer that is offered after they opt in. Once they go through the checkout process, they get offered a one time upsell. It's a one click upsell. So they enter their credit card once on the checkout page and then they get the opportunity to purchase our $297 certification course for only $97. If they say yes, that gets added to the order. If they say no, it doesn't get added to the order and it closes. Um, my average order value on this funnel is right around 80, $85. Then let's look at the advertisement. Now I've mentioned that I run a very long copy ad and I've wanted you to encourage you. Big thing I've been on is get more copy above the advertisement itself. And you can see here, this is my actual ad that I'm running. Obviously all these pieces are stitched together in one very long advertisement. It's a total of 790 words. It's a simple image ad. It has had about 1.8 million views at this point, over 24,000 likes and hearts. 1300 comments, 7,000 shares. Now, one of the reasons this ad is still working so well today is because I tell a story, a very compelling story that draws the reader in and it starts, they see the read more and then the more buttons. So they don't see the whole ad at first. They see the beginning of the story. The story captures them. They click read more. It opens more. They read more. They then click the more button. It opens the whole ad. And at that point they've taken multiple micro commitments to get really engaged and they're emotionally engaged in the story by the time they get down to the call to action. This kind of advertisement works really well. It takes a lot of testing to dial in that core story for your brand. But once you get dialed in, um, you can run it for a very long time and get a lot of use and a lot of legs out of a great ad like this. So the results overall now in overall, I mean, I'm looking from the day I started the campaign till the day of actually pulling the data here. So I spent $3,717 and I got 4,703 leads. That's 79 cents per lead. Now I'm going to pull the actual sales data out of my shopping cart because I use my own affiliate link in my ad. I don't trust Facebook's sale data. I only trust my shopping carts sale data. And I get that by using my own affiliate link in my ad. So I track all my sales separately in my shopping cart as a specific affiliate. So let's look at the sales generated overall. The sales is that I generated $3,170 in income. So I spent 3,700, I generated 3,100. So the net cost like out of pocket was $547 for 4,703 leads, which means I paid about 11.6 cents per lead. Now that's overall, but after week one and after week two, I went in and maybe it was week two and week three, I went in and optimized the campaign. So what happened once I optimized the campaign and you can see here, this is, this is what I'm looking at in the optimization. I have a high cost per lead that I've circled and I have zero sales. And you can see all of these ad sets are off because they had a above average cost 
per lead, right? My KPI, my cost per lead I'm looking for is 80 cents a lead. They're over my KPI and my cost per lead and they have not driven a sale. So I turn them off when they've spent $75, which is about what I was um, targeting as my number for my average order value. So I spent $75, I had not seen any sales back and I was over KPIs. I turned all of these ones off and then we look at the numbers, what happened once I turned these off. So once these were off, I spent $2,100 in ad spend. I generated 2,597 leads, which leaves me with an 81 cent cost per lead. So my cost per lead actually went up once I turned those down. But here's the cool part. I generated $2,092 in income in this time period. So my net cost was $8 per essentially for for all of those leads was eight dollars right so i got 2597 leads for eight dollars which means my cost per lead in this phase is about 0.3 cents per lead which is ridiculous now when does this kind of metric come into play so for me as an entrepreneur i'm always refining my ads and refining my campaigns so I can run them as long as I can as profitably as I can now this campaign I pulled these numbers about three weeks ago this campaign is still running for me right now and it's running at better than these numbers at this point because of my optimization if you're running a Facebook advertising agency this is what you show your clients right you start out and you're a little cash flow negative but as you optimize you're helping them get more leads for less cost over long longer periods of time because you're testing what audiences work on the creative that you're running and that is effectively how you optimize your campaign but we're not done there's one more I want you to see which is I believe the last three weeks in this campaign so total in the last three weeks I've spent sixteen hundred and fourteen dollars in this campaign I've generated two thousand and six leads at 80 cents per lead and it's important for me to to share real quick this is not the only ad campaign that I'm running this is just one cold traffic campaign I'm running I believe I had upwards of three or four separate campaigns uh, each with many different ad sets running inside of them simultaneously right so this is just one slice of the pie of what I'm working with at this point so you can see my cost per lead came down a little bit over time but it's still up from where it was on the, the full um, 2006 leads 1614 spent and then this is where it gets really fun at this point in the last few weeks of this one I had uh, $1,710 of income for $1,614 in ad spend, which means I got $96 of net profit. And that means I generated 2,597 leads for free. And you can see this, this window is from March 1st to March 24th when I pulled all this data uh, to, to build out this presentation. So this is a little over a three week run. So in the course of three weeks, I earned $96 instantly, but most important to me, I was able to generate uh, dozens of new customers and ultimately what I'm really excited about is those 2,597 leads that were essentially free for my business because that my friend is how you optimize a Facebook advertising campaign I hope this has made sense for you I hope this has been helpful for you I hope that you understand the value and the power in not just running your campaigns in the five dollar a day ad set methodology but ultimately to optimize them to remove the ad sets that are not generating sales and leads within KPI and continuing to run for as long a periods of time as you can those ad sets which do create leads and sales within the KPIs your numbers get better and better over time ultimately getting to this point here where I'm still running these ads I'm still cash flow positive I'm still generating a bunch of free leads I'm getting that cash flow right back in and ultimately I make all of my money on the back end of the funnel if you've enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up here in YouTube I do appreciate the thumbs up if you'd like to share this with anybody you think it would be helpful feel free to share it you can embed it if you'd like I do appreciate that if you do so just give me a quick link back to milesbeckler.com a little shout out to the creator of this and ultimately if you have any questions about this hit me in the comments I'll, I'll answer as many questions as I can when I have the time available but um, that's it I wanted to share this with you I felt like it was a good presentation it's a unique way at looking at the numbers it can be a little bit confusing but you can go right back through watch it again if needed and ultimately the biggest lesson of all of it is that once you get your five dollar ad ad sets running right your five dollar Facebook ad campaign running you set up your 20 or 30 different ad sets you must 
optimize them to get the maximum value long term. And that's what you're after. It's okay to be cash flow negative at first. And once you start optimizing your cash flow situation and the cost per lead effective cost per lead will go down lower and lower and you get to run it for long periods of time. That's why I've been able to run that ad and get that ad to be seen 1.8 million times with 20 plus thousand engagements, right? It's, it's pretty incredible and it works really, really well. So, um, I've shared all of how to do that in the $5 Facebook ad video series. I, I explain it from an overview standpoint. I show you how to set it up and then I show you how to optimize it. Again, there'll be a pop-up above. There'll be uh, links in the description below and I'll even have an end screen screen video that that'll get you into those so you can get more if you like it. And I do thank you very much for your time. This again is Miles Beckler signing off. I will catch you on the next video.